it's um, I don't want to say overwhelming, but it's a lot. It's uh, it's good to be back. After suffering a two-year shutdown because of COVID-19, a longtime Irish pub in Berkeley uses St. Patrick's Day to celebrate its comeback. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Christina Rendon. Crowds keep the Starry Plow Pub busy tonight, something that they have not done in years. KTV's Alyssa Harrington has been mixing it up with people excited to celebrate St. Patrick's Day at the Berkeley Favorite. She joins us now live with a look at how people are celebrating now that COVID restrictions have been eased. Alyssa. That's right. The Sorry Plow has been here at the intersection of Shattuck and Prince Street in Berkeley for almost 50 years. As you can see, there's a good crowd here tonight. At one point, the line was going about halfway down the block. Now, owners tell me that it has been a challenging two years, but seeing so many familiar faces tonight makes it all worth it. Irish eyes were smiling at the Starry Plow on Berkeley's Shattuck Avenue. The longtime family run pub hosted its annual St. Patrick's Day event, one that has been on hold for two years. It was definitely a trip. We never, never thought we'd be closed for this long. Manager Shaheen Naima said the pub abruptly closed on this very day back in 2020 because of the pandemic and the shelter in place. We were going to open a few times, but then there was another, pan another outbreak and another outbreak, and I was just like, you know what? I got my parents, their health wasn't that great and I was just like let's just hold off. Now many people have been vaccinated, mask mandates have been lifted and case numbers have significantly dropped. Owners say they feel good about inviting people back inside but still plan to check vaccination status at the door. It's a big deal, it's a lot of work but it is a big deal and it's so great to see everybody. Rose Hughes owns the Starry Plow with her husband. It has been in her family since the early 1970s. She said during the closure, they raised $65,000 through a GoFundMe and received help with emergency grants to stay afloat. We're just so thankful for all the support. Sorry, it's an emotional day. Yeah, but we're good. We've got through it. You know, we've had our health challenges too, and we've lost a few family members in the last two years, but we're back. The St. Patrick's Day celebration included all the traditional fixings, like corned beef and cabbage, soda bread, and plenty of Guinness on tap. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the Starry Plow. There was live music and a performance by the McBride Irish dancers. It's amazing. I've been so worried that they weren't going to open up. Bar patrons we talked to said they were thrilled. This neighborhood staple is back in business. They say it feels more like a community than just a bar. It's been so sad the last two years because we drive by all the time. We see the padlock on the door and we just don't know. We're like, oh, I hope they open again. Now, this was a special one day opening this month for the Starry Plow. They now plan to close for two weeks, then reopen for regular service starting April 3rd. But that will be just Sunday through Wednesday. Reporting live in Berkeley, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Julie? Yes, so good to see people back out and about. And Alyssa, was the bar able to hire back its former employees? They told me that tonight they were able to get their former bartenders to come back for the event. But at this time, the only full-time workers are the members of the family. They say that they will slowly start to hire staff and hire a booking agent. And then again, hopefully get back to seven days a week at some point. All right. Alyssa, thank you.